Okay, a quick video showing how you can turn uh, DJA to go from Nubuak and uh, DJ Control Starlight from Hercules into a combined 4 deck controller. It's actually really easy in Virtual DJ. You of course probably want to run in 4 deck mode and then you have to decide which of them you want to use as the output controller, because you only need one sound card really. For this kind of setup, you need one for the headphone, uh, an output for the headphones, and I need an output for the master route. And in this case, I've selected the DJ Control Starlight for both of them, because it actually has uh, an ASIO driver, and I love ASIO, but SAP is just as fine, and you can mix and match them if you want to, so you take the headphones out of one of them, and the, and the master start of the other one, that's really up to you. And then the other important thing, and the controllers is that by default they're just set up to handle uh, one or two, uh, deck one and two, both of them, and uh, that makes no sense when we want a uh, a four deck controller. So what I'm going to do is, since my Hercules is the one at the bottom, I'm going to choose that for for doing deck three and four. Save it. And just like that, they work as a four deck controller. So I can use crossfader here, will work fine up here. And I, have, and I already have four tracks loaded. So I can just play them. Like that. And then maybe go to the other side down here. And play something on deck 4 on the other controller. I'm just gonna use sync. And mix it. And this one. And play maybe this one down here. Mix into it. Like that. Let me do this one. And play this one. Like that. Of course, there's going to be some funny bits and pieces. First of all, you have two crossfaders that you don't really need. So maybe you can remap one of them to something else. And of course, you have things like maybe uh, you have two master volumes. Don't really need that. So you can map uh, to something else. Like for instance, the pneumatic don't, go have fil don't have filters. So you could actually map um, the master level and the Q level for... Uh, for uh, the filters for, for, for deck one and two. And since this one has filters, so they don't need it. And then you have the master and the headphone volume down here. And since this one down here doesn't have uh, any uh, functionalities for, for browse and load, you can maybe map these up here to take up all four decks. Like for instance, you're gonna have holding or shift uh, load uh, down here, uh, some kind of shift load, doesn't have a shift button, it's another button for it or holding to load on deck three and four. So you can use this kind of controller to handle loading for, for, for all four decks. That'll all be mappable. So I mean, if you just set it up like I did this, then you'll have a lot of double functionality, which you of course don't need. So, uh, so a little bit more work if you want to get it very streamlined. Another thing you could do is you could say, well, I, I only play one side at a time. So maybe uh, when I set, change pad pages, I change them on both uh, deck one and three. And then you could actually map these four and these four uh, pads uh, to handle eight pads, so you can take advantage of all eight pads in uh, in Virtual DJ on each uh, on each deck or on each side at the same time. Just a few ideas.